we've put together a team uh, to participate in an event called the Crossing for a Cure, which in which we'll get into a 45-foot, six-person outrigger and paddle from Bimini in the Bahamas to mainland Florida. That's Jamie Smith talking about completing an 80-mile paddle riding the Gulf Stream. Um, why? Uh, it's a fundraiser for cystic fibrosis. Um, it turns out that if you suffer from cystic fibrosis, the bacteria in your lungs are actually um, killed by breathing salt air. Um, so knowing this, it's sort of a natural pairing of the outdoor saltwater sports and um, this charity for folks who are suffering from cystic fibrosis. Ah, uh, even with my love-hate connection to the ocean, I can back this type of ride. Cystic fibrosis is a progressive genetic disease that causes persistent lung infections and limits the ability to breathe over time. Jamie came up with a team name that is fitting for the fundraiser. We chose Kahanu as a name because in Hawaiian it means breathe, and we thought it apt to the suffering folks deal with from cystic fibrosis. Local firefighter Max Schaefer joined Jamie's team with no hesitation. I paddled with Jamie on a local uh, outrigger canoe team, and he came to us as a group to see if we wanted to participate in it. And for some reason, I thought paddling for 11 to 12 hours would be a good idea through the open ocean. So I jumped in both feet with it, helping the children that are suffering from cystic fibrosis. It was a pretty easy decision for us to uh, make the effort to do the fundraising and the training to be able to make the crossing. Jamie was drafted to be a part of a team last year. He was so inspired that he decided to create his own team this year. He talks about the event's growth. Their initial year, it was basically the guy who started it, a guy named Travis Sweet. It's his daughter who the foundation's named after, Piper's Angels. Um, he did it as an idea with him and a couple of buddies. Uh, that was four years ago, I believe. This year, we have 200 paddlers. And he hopes even more participants from Florida paddle in for future events. As our outrigger community grows, that'll become a larger race and we can get several teams out there. And, uh, you know, not only will we try to raise a ton of money, but have a pretty bang up competition, which would be nice. Crossing for the Cure is work, folks. Max breaks it down. We start paddling at midnight on the 14th. Father's Day. Father's Day. And we start paddling due you know, west towards Florida um, in the dark. We have a safety boat that's guiding us, you know, so we're not trying to navigate ourselves. We just follow the safety boat and we'll start paddling until we hit the uh, Lake Worth uh, Pier area, which is a probably be, depending on currents and conditions, it could be a 10 to 11 hour paddle for us. If you're interested in participating but you don't outrig, the event is open to all types of manual propulsion. It's grown quite a bit. And it's various craft. We've got, uh, we're the only out, six person outrigger canoe, but it's stand up paddlers. There's some, I believe, some surf skis and some other. There's all like yeah. human powered paddling craft. Last year there was a team of women lifeguards from Fort Lauderdale did it in a surf dory. Rowing. Uh, there was a group of lifeguards out of the Pompano area that did it on prone boards. I don't know if you've ever seen a prone board. That's pretty animal. I'm Rance Adams, making a splash for River City Live. Jamie Max and the rest of the Kahanu team would love it if you support your, lo support your locals and their efforts for crossing the cure, Piper's Angels. To donate, visit CrowdRise and look for Kahanu or visit the Kahanu Facebook page.